This chunky beast is the Brigade Type 21, a luxury flyback chronograph, and in this video I'm gonna review it. What makes this Brigade Type 21 the luxury sports flyback chronograph better than Rolex Daytona or Amiga Sprintmaster Professional? If you are new to the channel here, I am exploring watches mostly and menswear. If you are into those things, stick around. Sometimes I feel like people who are new to the watch hobby are being pushed down the throat with only a few hype brands and models. Amiga Speedmaster, Rolex Daytona are probably the most popular chronographs today. And they are awesome, no question about that. But if you dare to fight through the hype, you will see that there are so many great chronographs where you wouldn't have to pay a premium for the hype. Brigue is one of them. Brigue is a top tier brand, the overlooked legend. Brigue is one of the most important watch brands in the history of watchmaking. It was founded by Antoine Louis Brigue in Paris, I mean in Paris, in 1755 long before Patek Philippe, Rolex or Ademar Piguet. It became a staple of luxury watchmaking. Breguet watches were worn by some prominent historical figures. Marie Antoinette, Winston Churchill, Napoleon Bonaparte, to name a few. And Breguet was responsible for some small innovations like tourbillon, chronograph, the first wristwatch, gear shadow decoration, chronograph with a tachymeter function, and even particular style hands are named after the brand. Breguet hands. And I believe Brugge never had the quartz models. Let me know in the comments if this is true or not. So today Brugge is probably the most traditional luxury watch brand out there. Traditional in terms of design and perception. And this brand is completely out of hype. Why? Probably because watches are too traditional for the younger generation of collectors. But besides the traditional classic retro looking watches, the brand has sports models as well. These models come with a vintage design in the modern package. And today I have such a sports watch for you from Brugge. It is not your regular diver or field watch. This is a high-end luxury pilot style flyback chronograph in the sports watch body. The watch is inspired by 20th century Brugge pilot's watches. First, what the heck is flyback chronograph anyway? With the flyback chronograph you have two modules and two chronograph hands, one is for seconds and another one is for minutes. You operate it the same way as you operate the regular chronograph, press the 2 hours button to start the chronograph, press the same button to stop it, then press the 4 hours button to put both hands into the zero position. But with the flyback complication, if you press the 4 hour button when the hands are working, you are restarting the chronograph on the fly and it starts working again. Take a look how it works. So the chronograph options are these. Here you have a seconds hand, here you have a minutes hand. In this dial you have a hour hand. So pay close attention to the flyback option. Thanks to great people from Ristheim Co for lending me this watch for review. If you are interested in this Brigade, contact Ristheim Co for pricing and availability. They also have a great selection of other luxury watches. Check out their website and Instagram. Here are the main specs of the watch. The reference number of the model is 3817. It has a stainless steel 42mm case. This is a beefy and chunky looking watch. I measured it with my digital calipers and here are my numbers. The bezel is slightly above the case, so it measures at 43.3 mm. The case is at 42.3 mm. It is a 15.3 mm thick. It has 48 mm lock to lock, which despite the beefy and chunky look of the watch, makes them pretty wearable. It has an anti-magnetic movement with a silicon escapement. The watch comes with a water resistance rating of 10 bar or 100 meters, which makes this watch a true everyday piece. It has a bi-directional rotating bezel, so you can rotate it in both directions. And with this watch you have hours, minutes, date, small seconds, day-night indicator, flyback chronograph. The watch is powered by the Breguet Caliber 58.4 Q-2. 
It is a self-lighting movement with frequency of 28,800 VPH. It has 26 joules and the power reserve is 48 hours. The watch comes on a nice calfskin strap. The case and the dial are very complex. There is a lot going on. The dial is a dark tobacco, like a vintage cigar color, and it has a dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating underneath. It has many levels that bring depth to the dial. First, you have a 60 minute scale on top, then vintage inspired bold numerals painted on a cutout space on the dial, then you have two ruby shaped markers at 3 and 9. So the watch has three subdials. One is for regular seconds hand, another one is AM PM indicator that you can easily see if the watch is showing you day or night, which is a pretty handy feature, especially when you set up in the watch. And the third subdial is for the chronograph hour hand. And this dial is cut out for a date window. All these layers bring the watch alive once on a wrist. What's under the hood? Let's flip it over and take a look at the movement, because the most important magic is actually under the hood, as it should be with the luxury watches. Same as for some luxury cars, what's under the hood is no less important as the design and the interior. It is a beautifully decorated automatic movement with 48 hours of power reserve, it has Côte de Genève decoration and beveled edges like you would expect from the high-end movement, the gold rotor is also decorated. With this movement you have a true luxury experience of the high-end movement. How is the watch on the wrist? I spent a week with this watch and here is what I think. As I said before, the watch looks large, bold and beefy. I have a 17 cm or about 6.5 inches wrist size and I think this watch is on a larger side for me. But despite it, I think that this watch sits well on my wrist and I can see myself sporting it with no problem. The design is loud. I cannot call this watch a beautiful watch. Some people may even think it's ugly. The watch is much better in person than in photos or videos. It's different. I would describe the design as bold and prominent. Not another boring watch. Not another hyped watch. I spent a week with this watch and I can say that I like it. To have it as one watch it may be too much, but as a luxury chronograph with a pilot's roots it can be a great addition to any collection. It is not an investment watch, you probably won't make any money on it, but you would buy this watch because you like it. Breguet watches tend to lose on the secondary market, so you can save a big chunk of cash buying it pre-owned. So as I said, I had this watch for a week and during this week they grew on me. I think it is a great example of luxury complicated chronograph watch that you should not be afraid to use as your sports watch. The watch is very well made with the close attention to details. I could not spot any issues or flaws with this watch. This is a perfect combination of the pilot's heritage, intriguing design and utility.